I'm strange. Very, very strange. Yes. Uh, hello and good morning my fellow Trucketeers How are you all doing? Today is May 31st, it's a Friday Flat out Friday, foot down Friday Get shit done and get home Friday, you know <laughs> So we got a fairly similar area to what we had on my last video one drop that's the same and all the rest are different so I thought I'd film the day. Yeah so we got Sherborne, Yeovil, Crewkern. I won't film Crewkern because it's exactly the same drop as on the last video. Uh, then we go Weymouth Portland which I haven't been to on video yet and well, I haven't been to Portland at all. <coughs> and after that Dorchester so I thought I'd film the day. Should have filmed yesterday, really, because I had a bit of a rubbish day. <laughs> Would have been a bit more interesting. Well, it wasn't really a rubbish day. It's held up a bit at a few places, but that's how it goes. All right, I have no idea where this place is I'm going to, but it looks like it's down here. <coughs> Come on, Van, because I can't turn in there with you in the way. Yeah, so just coming up with my first drop now in Sherbourne. Like I said, I don't know what this place is. Don't even know if they're open. It says on my invoice between 9 and 11, so I'm hoping they're there. Because otherwise, I'm going to be in for a long wait, because it's 7.45. Uh, straight on, I think, when this truck gets out of the way. Crazy where they put these little industrial parks sometimes. <laughs> Hand car wash and ballot in it. It's probably at that unit or something there. Which I think you can get around from there anyway. And it looks like nobody's in. So I'm gonna be in for a bit of a wait, I think. There's a van in it, but good Zimwoods. Yeah, I don't think anyone's here yet. Which is uh, rather annoying, so I've got four pallets for these guys. Oh well, if I have to wait, I have to wait, don't I? So I'll see you in a undisclosed amount of time. <laughs> I'll see you shortly or longly whatever happens right and that's first delivery done I don't have to wait that long actually what I got here at what 13 minutes to 8 and I think they turn up at about 5 10 past 8 so not too bad it's now 8 18 and off we go to the next one 
Yeah, two of the pallets and that were silly. One of them had like one little box on about that big. And another one had about four boxes on that big. So I literally just carried them ones off. Yeah, pay attention, pal. Not even looking towards me. <clears throat> Start rolling forward. Um, the other two pallets are somewhat worth it. So. Oh my Jesus. I'm not going to get out of there. Look at this. What a stupid place to park. No, I was going to get around that corner like that. But then, uh... Which way are you going, pal? I'm going to have to back up let him through. He's going to be going on there. <laughs> oh, sorry, pal. So there's a big truck coming through. I've got nowhere else to go because I had the van behind me. van drivers there. Eh? Never mind. Fun and games, eh? Yeah, that wasn't exactly a great place for that Passat to be parked. He was there when I come in, but then the car parked, double parked against him. Obviously didn't help situations at all. Bugger that one. It didn't look as the gap between the cars didn't look as big from coming out of the turn and as a bit when I was straight onto it. Obviously when I straightened up and that it was bigger than I thought it was originally. Never mind. Right. Off the oval. I'll see you soon. Right, here we are in Yeovil. Yovel, yovel, yovel. So, from what I can see, this, this delivery is down a horrible little street. Uh, it could be a bit of a sort of pig to get round. I know buses go up there, but they turn the opposite way to where I'll be going. So, I know some of it will be alright. <laughs> Thing is, it's one way as well, so if I do get stuck, that'll be a alright problem. But we'll see what happens. Uh, the pallet's on my side as well, so the way I'll be going, that'll be on the correct side. Unless I've got to park on the other side of the road, in which case it'll be a bugger. It'll probably be tail lift off anyway. Maybe we shall soon find out, I suppose. It's only a couple of minutes away. <coughs> I haven't got much on in the way of weight. I think with my last delivery on, it was what, 1,600 and something kilos. So I'm not heavy today. Whereas the other day I was, what, 8.7 tonnes. <laughs> there you go. Every day's different. Uh, I'm on that lane. Mm. This is going to be amusing. Tiny little roadsies. Well, not too tiny, but you get vehicles double parked like this. It doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, 
see him. Might not want to walk on the road when I'm trying to come through. Apparently it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so I do have to park on the other side of the road. Oh, that van's going, that's handy. Because I'm going to pull in here. Looks like they're not even open yet either. So I'm gonna have to wait a bit. Never mind. Alright. Guess I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so that was um entertaining. <laughs> so I get here at 8.36 and then I'll go have a look on the door. And it says they don't open until 10 o'clock. Like, uh, so I banged on the door just on the off chance, but nah nothing. So I thought sod it. So I drove to Krukern, went and done that delivery. Said I wasn't gonna film that one anyway. And then came back here, and I got back here at quarter to ten. She opened the doors at like five to ten. And then we got everything unloaded. I gave her a hand carrying it from the shop because she was on our own today. She was expecting the delivery yesterday, and there was a couple of them in there. So I could have done the run, but because it was just her, uh, I gave her a hand. I am nice. <laughs> so, that's now that one done. Nice and easy. I took the empty pallet for her as well, because, again, I'm nice. Thing is it's delivering to a storefront so you know, they don't always have anywhere to store the pallets so I thought I'd take it doesn't hurt <laughs> so that's the oval done so now we're gonna head off to um, Weymouth do my one drop I got there and it's 11 minutes past 10 so I've got what an hour and 50 minutes before I have to take my break so not too bad so yeah I'll see you you somewhere near Weymouth or in Weymouth or around Weymouth something to do with Weymouth we'll figure it out when we get there <laughs> see you soon alright so I've stopped and I had a break 45 minutes so I've cleared my driving time and now I am in Weymouth or Weymouth if you didn't understand that because I'm strange very very strange yes <laughs> yeah, so the delivery got is right near Weymouth College or in, in Weymouth College or something to do with Weymouth College. Yeah. I think it's like a, a sports hall or something they got in the in there or something. So the drink the drinks we deliver are usually are for them but I don't know, we'll see. Could be for a shop that's there, I don't know. But I said I've been there before, so I did come back. So, uh, yeah, we'll find out in a minute. Come on, car, hurry up. Or not, just take your time, you know. I don't have anywhere to be or anything, you know. <laughs> for these bloody trees, they're so close to the road. Uh, not yet. Bit of premature indication then. This one, Weymouth College. Oh yeah, it's signposted, very nice. It'd be nice if everywhere was signposted, actually no it wouldn't. Just imagine them everywhere were signposted. There should be signs everywhere. <laughs> Sign for Dave's house. Sign for where Wendy lives. Sign for the public toilets. Actually, that's quite handy. We could have that one. <laughs> Sign for each shop. Right, here we are. Now I've just got to figure out where I'm going. Uh, community Sports Centre, so I'm going to presume it's in there. We'll have a look. 
Let's see. Sports Centre open. Is that a Sports Centre? So let's back in there and find out. See if we can find someone. Things are pot. We're up against the barrier now, so if I need to go out, I'll take the barrier with me. <laughs> Never mind. Right, let's see if I can find someone. Righto, that's that delivery done. Bit of an arse, as you can see I'm in a different location. <laughs> I was literally just across the road there, the other side of the roundabout. So I got off, I went in there, saw the mate at this, I was like, Luke's said delivery? He said, oh yeah, yeah, just bring it in through the front and leave it there. So I brought it in and he said, cool, that's a lot. I had a look at the invoice, he said, oh no, that's from across the road. I was like, thanks. So I said, uh, I said, can you give me a hand pushing it back under the tail lift, because it's nearly a 400 kilo pallet. <laughs> So he did, he come out, give me a hand, and we got it back on the truck. It weren't too bad, actually. It was just slightly downhill as I was walking back to the truck, so I used that momentum to sort of get it back on the tail lift. You know, it's it quite a slope on the tail lift down on the floor, you know, it's like a good, what, 15, 20 degrees, I'd say, angle. And it's quite steep. It all, it all depends on the on where, it's, where the truck sat as well. So uh, yeah, I managed to get it back on, and I drove across to the other bit, and then backed up to a curb, tail lifted down onto the curb, and then pulled the pallet off, nice and easy. Oh, oh, that's a pallet. I left the pallet standing up in the back. That's just fallen over. <laughs> Whoopsie, I forgot about that. Surprised it lasted this far. Anyway, that's Weymouth done. So now we're going to head off to Portland, and by the looks of it, we've got to go right to the top of the hill. So yeah, that'll be fun. It's a steep one. <coughs> Get that out of the way. And the delivery. <laughs> and we'll head to the Dorchester. So I'll see you in a minute in Portland. So here we are just coming up on Portland. We're still like 10 minutes away so... I'll sort of... Filter in loads of bits. So as you can see we're just going to go across the causeway into Portland. There are a lot of stories about Portland, you know, a lot of, uh, yeah, funny things they say about people who live in Portland. I'm not going to say anything, all, all I'm going to say is, don't drink the water. <laughs> uh, keep Portland weird, woo, as they say. been here in a truck before so this could be interesting like I said it's a very steep hill it sort of goes to the top so I might have to sort of drag my way up there <laughs> oh yeah we well, got to climb up this big old hill <laughs> should be fun I'll just scream up there Change down. There we go. Oh dear. Alright. One way now. Be about this, no one's going to come towards me. <laughs> right, this is where it's going to be interesting. Hopefully I don't have to stop going up here because it could be fun trying to pull away again. I'm just glad I haven't got a lot of weight on. I've only probably got about, what, 500 kilos on? 
six maybe. I'll say about six or seven. Change on another. Oh no, false good. If I had that 8.7 8 tons on like I did, not yesterday, the day before, so yeah, I think I'll go, be going about 5 mile an hour up here. <laughs> Maybe 10. Yeah, we're pulling up alright. It's a nice view, so I'll uh, have the camera on when I go down as well. Not that you'll see a lot. Might turn the camera. And it's quite rare, well, I wouldn't say it's rare you get a nice view from up here, but usually if there's like slight mist or cloud in everything, it's just foggy as hell up here. Yeah. So it's quite nice when it's clear. Even the locals get a nice view occasionally. They're like, oh, we ain't seen that for a while because of the fog. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can figure out where we're going. in. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, that's that collection done. So yeah, not ideal because it's not on a pallet, but it should be alright. The thing is I'm going to shrink wrap or anything if I do put it on a pallet because I still haven't picked any up. Alright, the uh, question is can I turn around down here? Hopefully. Uh, yeah, if I just nose in here. Actually, if I go right in, I'll be able to turn around, I think. I'm sure they went mine for a second. And if they do, I'm pretty much there now. There we go. Drama free, that's what we like. Alright. So we're going to head back out of Portland and then off to Dorchester. Which on the way here was just pure traffic the whole way from here through into Weymouth and then all, all the way from. Sort of, then you can get through Weymouth and then from the other side of Weymouth into Dorchester there's more traffic. So this could be an interesting drive. 48 minutes to do 17 miles, so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> there. Still got a bar of battery left, we're doing alright. Alright, let's see if we can see these nice views. Everyone likes a good view. Ah, look at that. 
we're going to go this way. I want you to see that over there. <laughs> see Chesil Beach. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but isn't Chesil Beach a man-made beach? I don't know. I've just heard it somewhere, I think. I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. Uh oh. What's happened with this truck? Has he broken down? Or had a punch or something? Oh. Oh, no. He's going. leave that there and I'll see you in Dorchester in however long. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad actually. So here we are in Dorchester to go do our last two drops and then the drive back via Blamford and Salisbury I think. Let's look at this pillar. Just stop in front of everyone that's trying to turn in. <laughs> now what's the harm in stopping here? And just maybe letting a car or two go. Go on, wakey wakey. Go on, I'll let you go as well. There you go. Ain't I nice? <clears throat> so normally I'll do Poundbury before I do Dorchester because Otherwise, I've got to go back past Dorchester anyway, to um, or back through Dorchester anyway, to get to the road I need to go home. So, uh, but um, I've got on my invoice that I need to clear all the rubbish from Poundbury, so they might have a lot of stuff, so it's just easier. But it might be easier if I just go do, do Dorchester first, collect what they got, and then go to Poundbury because I might need to load them right up with what they've got. Oh, we'll see what happens when we get there. Probably says clear Poundbury and it's probably only got about three or four pallets. The thing is, it probably hasn't been cleared because it's tail lift only. And I don't know if some of the other drivers are uh, not the most enthusiastic when it comes to actually having to do a bit of work. Not complaining about them, just the way it is. Usually, eight, nine times out of ten, it's the agency drivers because they just want to get on and get done. Yeah, sure, right away, love. Come on. Thank you. So, yeah, enough complaining about other people. <laughs> Let's go get this delivery done. Just stick out in the road there, old man. Uh, this van isn't helping. straight in their bay today which would be nice. The last couple of times I've had to wait for people to move and whatever. Alright, lined up. Just get these doors open, get the delivery off. See you when I'm done. Alright, that's our delivery done. Add, oh, got a tray on the floor down there. <laughs> there we go. 
Oh, Jesus. Frank's are quite savage at times. There we go, we're through. That was a tight one, I must admit. <laughs> right, so that's our delivery done. Three pallets off and six pallets on, that's it. Yeah, so I did collect quite a bit of them. Uh, obviously, the next one's the one I was supposed to clear, so I can only clear what I've got room for. But it should be about eight. So as long as I ain't got any more than eight pallets, I should be able to clear them. I don't want to take eight, because that means I've got a whole truck to unload when we get back, but uh, we'll see what happens when we get there. <laughs> Uh, see eight, yeah, but I won't be able to fit eight on because I've got some that are a bit like bulging out past the sides of the pallet. So. Seven, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to crack on the pound breeze, so I'll see you in a bit after I get around this corner. Stay there, car. Well done. That delivery done. That's two pallets off and two stacks of pallets and three bags of plastic on. So, not the extraordinary amount of rubbish I was expecting to pick up. <laughs> I was expecting there'd be loads, but yeah, basically nothing. So, yeah, that was good. So, uh, yeah, I completely forgot to turn the camera on when I drove in there as well. So, you know, I'm sure you'll live. I've got to get, try and get through this kerfuffle. Easy enough, but it could be easier. Alright, so that's my day done, and I've got to drive all the way back to Andover now. Which hopefully isn't going to be too bad. Satnav's going to try and take me along, try and take me out to the M27, up the M3 way, but that's like half hour longer, so I'm going to go through Blandford and up through Salisbury. But I think I've already said that anyway, so. There you go, you get it again. Bubble whammy. So yeah. All in all, not a bad day. I'm just hoping I get back before six o'clock. Well, it's two o'clock now and it's saying I'm gonna be back for five minutes past four. I should be back for half three, really. Hopefully, because I've got to go pick up a new battery for my car, because my battery's knackered. It was knackered when I brought it, so, because it had to be jumped. It needed to be jumped when I took it for a test drive, then it needed to be jumped twice when I picked it up, I drove it back home and gave it a good charge and it weren't too bad. And then when I, when I was cleaning my car before the car show, using the electric seats and I run the battery out. So, uh, yeah, the battery isn't holding very much charge. So I have went on the Euro car parts and they got a 55% discount at the moment. So get in, instead of 130 quid, it's gonna be 60. So, well, 66. So yeah, jobs are good. And, so yeah, hopefully I get back for six because it's reserved and I've got to pop into the store and collect it. So yeah. Hopefully uh, it'll solve the old battery running out problem. Because the other day I was filling up at the shower garage and I left my lights on when I went in to pay for it. Come out, car wouldn't start. So I was sat at pump four at the shower garage. And yeah, couldn't do nothing. Luckily, my friend works for abacus vehicle hire which is the building right next to the shell garage and he got his tech to run by quickly with the jump pack and give me a little jump as soon as we hooked up turned the key bang fired straight up so yeah the battery's definitely uh, knackered anyway enough about that uh yeah all a good day so managed to get in and out of everywhere fine no problems with the deliveries all was good so yeah it's what we like I like it when days go smoothly like that. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So if you've got this far, then thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, then hit that thumbs up, give it a like. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, then subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you get notifications when I release videos. I do release videos every Monday and Thursday at 8pm anyway. For 
as far as I'm aware at the moment the foreseeable future until anything changes that I can't keep to that sort of schedule <laughs> until I've become busier in my uh, normal life and two videos a week's fine uh, yeah so yeah share the video with someone you think might like it and uh, also leave a comment if you want let me know what your uh, Fridays are like at work is it all rush 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 to get done so you can get home or do you still have to work Saturday like I do this weekend so a Friday isn't really a thing <laughs> yeah, there we go so yeah thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it look after yourself take it easy drive safely and I'll see you in the next one goodbyes <laughs>